It's an honor, bro. You're doing you're doing something, and it's beautiful. I appreciate that, man. Just try to help everybody know about where the most accessible places accessible places to get your medical cannabis. Not only that, but the most accessible places to get your medicating necessities. Like these right here are your essentials. You got your glass. You got your bongs. You got your pipes. You got your nectars. You got your trays. Your papers. Your scum bags. All of this is your medicating essentials. So don't ever let anyone tell you that you're medicating it, that your tools aren't essential because they are. You need these in order to use your medication. I call them symbols of freedom. That's They're symbols too. of freedom. It goes all the way back to the 60s, even before then. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a representation of our freedom and what we're allowed to do. Exactly. And as human beings, we shouldn't have so many laws restricting us when it comes to something like this plant. And I agree. Medicate with it. I'm amazed that it, there is even laws against something growing something in the ground. I'm amazed. Yeah, right? It's like you can't grow your own vegetables. You know, Ridiculous. you can't grow a tomato without anything. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. But 
go to jail for growing tomatoes. Yeah, and I hear that, I hear some stories for some farmers that they have to go through some shit, you know, just because of their crops. Right. But there shouldn't be a law on it. There shouldn't be a law on their crops. But that's why I'm here to help you guys find what you need, and you help me find what I need. We help each other, and that's what Steve does down here in the South Valley. Is he helps patients in the South Valley have access to their Medicaid essentials, to their freedom needs. Uh, so definitely, uh, Steve, tell me more about you, man. I'm just uh, I started this business, this whole genre of uh, of uh, industry, the the cannabis game, the CBD game. I got into it about three years ago. Nice. I was selling cars for like ten years. Uh, it was stale to me, you know, it's just, uh, you know, when they say all money ain't good money, those were those circumstances. Yeah. So I found something that I could help people and it just like took off. It actually helped me first. I did it. I took a drop of some oil. My back was hurting like a motherfucker. And I got off the couch and I kind of just straightened my back and I was like, what the fuck? It was like an immediate reaction. Yeah. I was sold. And I, you know, I told my boss, hey, I'm going to do this. And he got mad at me because I bring oil to the shop and I was trying to sell all the employees. And trying to help everybody feel better. Feel better, bro, because yeah. it made me feel better in so many ways. And it right? didn't fuck you up in the head like, like a prescription pill would. No, well, definitely. I would never take prescription pills because of that fact, because it does fuck you up your liver. It does all this shit. This actually cleans it. Yeah. It's, it's so amazing. So I was, I was blown away by it. And now it's like three years later, I have this shop, I have one in Coronado Center. Um, I, you know, I'm doing okay, but I'm helping people. That the, I, I, uh, I weigh my success by how many people I'm helping. And this is just a representation of it. Exactly, and uh, that's what I know about it is that, you know, back in the day, people look at this and be like, oh, it's just a head shop, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, bro, you know why they call it a head shop? Because it's gonna help change your head. Absolutely, you know that I mean? makes sense. That's so, but, like, it's not just a smoke shop. This is, this is a, also a CBD shop. So Steve also provides and specializes in ways for you to medicate with CBD using oils, edibles, and he even makes his own right here. So what you got right here, as I showed y'all in the previews there when we were kind of dancing through, these are the hemp factories. So this is something Steve makes. It's a 600 milligram CBD. Ooh, that's a good show. Certified by the state, which is beautiful. Go to the website, look up hemp factory. It's there. It's all clean, kosher product. It's uh, it helps. And it's a, uh, it's very powerful, and it's done the right way in the boutique way, the, the the craft way, where every bottle's been paid attention to meticulously. That's the beauty and the secret behind this thing is that a lot of love went into it, and a lot of people seem to agree with me. That's awesome. It's amazing stuff. Well, if it's a, if it's anything that I've learned like in the community is that a lot of patients make make a lot of their own oils or rubs or salves stuff like that. Then we have a lot of people like farmers quality who make a lot of good concentrates. And like we talked about earlier, it's all about the passion, man. Yeah. And that's what really makes a quality product is the passion that you put into it, the love that you put into it, and the fact that the intentions that you're putting behind this aren't to make you rich. It's to help benefit and help medicate other people safely. And so that's why that's why we do this. Yeah, that's, that's why we, we help this. people. At the end of the day, we it's, a, it's real simple. We're helping people. Yeah. And there's rewards for that to help us help them more. Exactly. I help them more. Keep keep it keep the ball rolling in a positive sense. And you know, I uh, I was a bad guy a long time ago, but now it's like I'm helping people, and it's just so much more rewarding. It's a beautiful thing. It, it really is, man. And and I, I really appreciate you making this accessible for patients in the South Valley. For sure. I mean, because out here in the South Valley, we catch we catch a bad rep out here in the Valley, and it's there's really no bad rep to be had because. We live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, man. You could just say the entire city is a bad rep, but it's all about perception. It's all about how you look at things, it's about your attitude. If you continue to have a bad attitude about your neighborhood or you continue to have a bad attitude about a certain part of town, then you're only gonna see the bad parts of it. You're never gonna see the beauty behind it. And we're, we're, we're good people down here. These are my people. I'm from here, I grew up here. I used to break dance in the front here, get my haircuts next door. Right. It's, uh, it's our own village. Which, which, Zapata. Zapata, yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Early mornings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's where I grew up, in, and I know the people are good here. There's money down here, and they'll pay good money There's, for good products. The thing about the South Valley that is so hardcore that I love about it is its roots and the pride that we carry in the South Valley. We're very proud, we're very proud culture down here, yeah. just like we are in the entire city. I mean, people are always talking about, oh, 
they're too scared to open a dispensary in the valley because of the reputation. It's a war zone. Yep. You guys have an ultra house opened up on the corner of Central and San Pedro, and that's in the heart of the war zone. Yeah. And you're telling me you can't put one here. So I'm, letting, I'm just glad that Steve-O is able to open up something like this, have it accessible for patients down here, and show the positivity that we have here. It's kind of like a, like a diamond in the rough. Yeah, it is. It is. A, it's a... It's a needle in the haystack as well. You know, you don't find many places this this cool and, and paid attention to as you do this shop right here. In general, and I'm trying to start a trend. We're opening up a crystal shop next door. We're gonna make this our village. I mean, you know, exactly. that it, we this is home. This is home, but it's it's more than home. It's 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 just it's wrong. It's right. It's yeah. ready to burst. Yeah. And people, the people that know about it, they're gonna thrive and they're gonna benefit off this. I really want to encourage patients to come check out Bayport in the South Valley. Um, just for the main part is that when you come down here and you talk with Steve-O, it's personal. It's intimate. You know what I mean? Like you get a, he has a personal intimate relationship with each and every single person who's down here. They're all his friends. You know what I'm saying? That's the culture, and the, that's kind of like the tradition we carry in the South Valley, is that everybody's family. You come walk into that door, and this one's going to treat you like family. So come here and check it out, and come down with an open mind to CBD. We don't judge. We don't yeah. judge. We're not here to judge. We love, we love everybody. We're all human beings. There's no reason, there's nowhere to judge. There's nothing to judge. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. But, oh, I wanted to mention a few things while we do have Steve over here, too, man. What else he has to offer? He has to offer the famous Amos glasswork here. Glass so that's work. local gla locally blown glass. Do you know a lot more about this? And I know you introduced me, so let me know. I got beads. I mean, I got uh, I got diamond encrusted nectars. I have rigs. I have a whole, I got peace pipes. I have this dragon that's ridiculous. Check this stuff out, y'all. Oh. Look at that. This is beautiful glass here. I'm just real proud to have him as an artist here. There's a couple of people that I'm talking to about getting him on my shelves. And, uh, you know, it just all depends. I got good relationships with the people that I work with. And that's the way I like to keep it. And it's not about money. It's about relationships, for sure. That is a dope-ass dragon. Man. That's, I don't know that's yeah. sick. Yeah, you, look at that. And like we've talked about before in the last, like we've been talking about here and we talked about in the last episode, is passion, quality. And when you have passion for what you do, you will provide a quality product for other patients. And let me tell you something else about manifestation. You can have anything you desire. You can have anything you want. You can make anything you see here. You can make it possible for yourself. If you can see it here, you can have it here. And this is just proof. Steve-O is proof of that. And Famous Amos is proof of this. Because this is something he saw in his head. Just in his head. And was able to manifest it into reality. Steve-O, this is something he had in a dream, had dreamed This of. is my dragon. He, this is what he saw in his head. And look, he made it a reality. And so don't ever, don't hold yourself back. Don't, don't, uh, don't put any barriers on yourself. Break through that shit and use your power. Use the power of this mind, man, because the universe is your genie. And everything else in front of you is your reality that you create. Hey, man, that's, that's some real shit. Steve-O, man, you, you're oh. living proof of that, bro. We're all, we're all so doing thank it. You. You know, we're just all humble servants. At least we should be. Yeah, and when we say humble servants, it's servants to God and servants to, to, to one the, another. To the higher power. The to other. the higher power to one another. We're here to help each other, serve one another. We're not here to bash. We're not here to take from each other. We're not here to push each other down. We're not here to hurt each other, step on each other. We're not here to do that, man. It, uh, it feels good to help people. And so you're doing, you're doing yourself the favor more than anything. Oh, yeah. So check it out. You, you know, you know, my meeting Steve today with me during the show and how how good of a human being we got here and how great of a shop that he's got for us provided in the South Valley. So thank Thanks, you, man. bro. Appreciate you. No, I appreciate you, brother, big time. Is there anything you, else you want to share? Share with anybody who got you up here? You know, I have glass. I have everything that we listed. But more than anything, we're 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 growing. We're making this a big thing. Come and support the community. Come down just to take a look. It's a it's a gift shop. It's a novelty shop. I have all sorts of things that you may be interested in. Great for gifts. The holidays are coming up. Come get some CBD gifts, some glass gifts. Just, I got some dope stuff. He's got everything too. So it's not like he's going to have something and, and like run out today. No, I'm like constantly, he, constantly. I'm he a, keeps up with his inventory. An outlet center. I'm an outlet store. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. For sure. 
So like, if you need some, if you need puffco tops, this man's got some puffco tops for you. Yes. You need a variety of flavors of puff bars. I mean, those are hot right now, man. He's got your puff bars. This dude's got everything. I'm looking at the shelves over here right now. He's got flavored papers. He's got the raws. He's got the vibes. He's got the palms. Yep. He's got the tasty puffs. Juicies. He's got yeah. He's got everything you can think of, brother. So y'all come down here and check it out. And one more thing before we split out of here. Yeah. yeah. Let everybody know in the South Valley where you can find a skunk bag. Y'all need to get on this, man. Waterproof, smell proof, and dog proof. And they have a combination. Yes, they have a combination lock. They're uh, they're top notch. Are the best in the industry. And you have I'm them a, different sizes. I'm a distributor of these. I have access to them constantly. You can either get them here or you can get them at 6600 Manal. That's Coronado Center, the epicenter of shopping in New Mexico. Look at that. Skunk bags available in the South Valley. So those of you who don't know and you're down here off of Blake and Isleta. I got you. We have the biggest selection down here. We got skunk bags, bro. Look, he's even got the luggage. Yeah, yeah I got luggage. I got luggage. He's even got, I got the, backpacks he's got for the hiking. Packs. Yeah, yeah so dude. You can extend them and add more look, to look, it. Look at those ones in the back. Oh, yeah. Look I got right. two of those. Got them duffels, baby. They're ridiculous and so they work. Let the homies know because I, I know the homies down here in the valley need to know we got them skunk bags. Big Porium, right? On Isleta. Steve, I appreciate you, dog. Again, once again. Dude, thanks. Always. Oh, I appreciate man, I appreciate it. it. We'll, be, we'll have to do it again for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. We'll do another we'll do a medicated session. I'm down with uh, the smoke out, whatever, smoke box. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we're we'll doing a hot box, right? <laughs> hot box, oh, yeah. Man, I missed that. That was a good time, huh? Yes, sir. Getting some hot boxes. Well, everybody, so don't forget, Big Porium, South Valley, Isleta, Saunders. Be sure to hit them up for everything that you need, man. It's Matthew, my real life TV Final Five. This is Steve with Vaporium. Thank you for your time ahead of time. Look forward to the future. Peace. Peace.